Okay, so here is a problem where we're talking about a line passing through a midpoint and is also perpendicular. Um, we've got K is the midpoint of line RH, point R is at locations of coordinates 7, 3, and H is at 5, 4. Write an equation that's perpendicular to line RH and passes through point K. Here I told you I wanted to put it in point slope form. Well, the name of the form is telling you exactly what you're going to need to find. First, the slope, and of course, you got to find the point that you're passing through. We know that it's going through K, but we don't know the coordinates of K. So finding the slope. Slope of this line, we're going to go ahead and use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, or we know it in class as doo doo. So we've got 7, 3, 5, 4, You do. Down, up, down, up, right? So, 7 goes down, 3 goes up, the 5 goes down, the 4 goes up. 3 minus 4, negative 1, 7 minus 5, 2. This is the slope of the original line RH. We need it to be perpendicular. So we have to use the opposite reciprocal. That means change your sign to a positive and flip it to a 2 over 1, which of course simplifies to just a 2. This is the slope we want to use, not the original. So we've got that taken care of. Now we need to figure out the point that we're going through. Well, k is a midpoint. So we use the midpoint formula. Add your x's. 7 and 5, and cut that in half. Add your y's, 3 and 4, and we cut that in half. 7 plus 5 gives 12, cut that in half, you get 6. 3 and 4, that makes 7. You cut that in half, you're going to get 3.5. It's okay to get a decimal. That's the midpoint. So we're going to go ahead and move on from there because now I have my point and I have the slope. I'm ready to make my equation in point slope form. The y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. At this point, you're just putting everything where it belongs. You got your x1 here, your y1 there and your m right here. Just drop it all in. So y minus y1, 3.5, equals m, the new perpendicular slope of 2, and x minus x1, which was 6. And there you go.